Greetings folks, welcome back to episode, well, welcome to episode 82 of my journey series. As you can see, just currently at the farming area, just below the passive mob farm and just above the hostile mob farm. Uh, we're going to do a few odd jobs this episode, a few things I have been wanting to finish off. For example, we will be working on bridges that go to the water from the bowl. Uh, we're going to try and exper experiment with them. Uh, we might also put on our viewing system or a viewing area to the hostile mob farm and one or two other things. Now, I was originally planning to have paths go off behind these areas, these uh, drop down things, but I think what we'll do instead is we'll have... So we've got that, that's fine, we'll leave that there, but we're going to have two paths, one going that way, and I guess we should have one going that way, just for symmetry's sake. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it three wide, like this. Well, I say three wide, it, this is more, I don't know what this is, it's more like two wide. Something like that, uh, something nice and uh, simple. And uh, hopefully that will suffice for a path to uh, the water. Now, as I said, I'm doing this side more for symmetry's sake, but the other side is important because that's like, you know, that leads us straight to the land or straight to an area where we can access the land. So, yeah, not too bad. Oh, hello, cow. Um, still kind of annoyed that pigs get stuck in here. I've not had a chance to look over it, but at some point we might have to, uh, yeah, we'll just think about what we're doing with it. We might have to, well, I, I'd rather not move it, that's the thing, because I'm happy with where things are, but obviously you don't want something to be inferior. To, oh, look, look, just as I said that, just as I said that, uh, <laughs> a pig ended up in here. Where's that guy going to go? Oh, that's a cow. Thought that was a pig. That's a pig. Yeah, he went in the correct place. Don't think I've actually seen one go into the incorrect place. So as you can see, fairly, uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, fairly normal bridge. Nothing uh, too out of the ordinary. Um, what I will say is I'm planning to do part two of the pause pause experiment. I might do that next episode, but that should be on the horizon. Uh, I was going to wait until 1.2 to do it, but I was reading the patch notes and I think that ore rates or something were increased, which would obviously uh, hamper the experiment and uh, make it unfair, make it uneven. So we're going to try and get it done before they, uh, before we switch to 1.2, beta 1.2, and I think we'll do it next episode if I can. I kind of forgot, we need, to, uh, we need to go and do the other side, which... Uh, it's arguably the more important side. But yeah, as you can see, we've got the bridge built. Uh, we'll just add a few lights, I guess. Just so it's like, you know, well lit up. And yeah, we'll work on this side now. There we go. I am satisfied. we got the two bridges to the two parts of the, well, the edge of the bowl. Um, again, did it more for symmetry's sake, but... It's, uh, it's useful to have, just in case. So, now it's time for the section of this episode where we go in-depth into maths, or mathematics, or whatever you would want to call it. Now, I'm not claiming to be an expert. What this section of the video is, it's when I show you my process for, you know, calculating something. And it's it's not a process I came up with. It's, it's a process that's been used for hundreds if not thousands of years. It's called Pythagoras Theorem. Uh, I have used it before in Minecraft and I'm going to use it again. A, just for the heck of it, just to show you um, what I've done on occasions, but also there is a point. As you can see over there, there is grass and the aim of this passive mob farm was that there would be no grass within I think 144 blocks. I think that's the, the furthest distance anything will not despawn at or something like that. So, what I want to do is I want to discover the uh, the distance from this point here to the grass over there. Obviously it's a diagonal, therefore we're going to need uh, some Pythagoras, yeah? So, first of all, we need to take a quad reading from uh, 
where we're standing right at this very moment. So the quartz reading is uh, minus 37 on the X. And then the Y doesn't matter. Z is 2068. Now we need to take a quartz reading from over here. Now there is a slight issue in that the... Well, I can't really tell which piece of land is closer, whether it's that piece or this piece. I think it's that piece. But it's a wee bit like the southwest of England, where uh, Land's End is known as like the edge of uh, you know the world down there. But the um, <laughs> there's this other piece of land that's like also quite far away, but it's not really well known. Um, maybe there's a reason why Land's End's known and not this other piece. But whatever, I'm I'm not educated on this sort of thing. Anyway, let's take a second chord reading. Uh, the X chord from this area is 60. Oh, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> Minus numbers and positive numbers. Uh, and then the Z chord is 2152. Brilliant. So Pythagoras theorem states that the distance from that point to that point, the two that we just took, is going to be the square root of the X coordinate, the, like the the square root of the difference of the x coordinate and the square root of the z coordinate. So that's what we're going to try and figure out. It's something that probably everyone has done at least once in their life. Um, I mean, I, I went to school with some very, very, very clever people. Um, they went to they went to a primary school that had apparently been doing Pythagoras theorem since uh, since like P one. That's probably a slight exaggeration. I, I'm not even sure if they knew it before they went to high school. Uh, but the point is, some people seem to have done it quite early. Some people, maybe not so much. Um, but, you know, the point is, it's it's fairly common. I'm not necessarily sure of any real-world examples where you would use it now. But, I mean, I, does this classify as a real-world example? <laughs> no. Anyway, moving on. So... Uh, this is the distance we want to measure. As you can see, it's a very, very poor triangle. We could maybe improve it if we did. Um, how, how, how do you make, make a triangle in this game? If we get rid of that. That just makes it look really strange. Alright, whatever. This is a triangle. Just uh, deal with it. So, um, the each the angles of a triangle all add up to 180 degrees. We've got a right angle here, which means the other two are going to be 45 degrees. That's a, I, th I think that's irrelevant. Anyway, the equation, as I said, is going to be x squared. Like That's a squared. It's not a 2, it's a squared. x squared is equal to a squared uh, plus b squared. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. I really want to look this up again. I've used this countless times before in this game. I'm doubting myself now I'm putting it on video. Um, so anyway... We want to figure out that distance, as I said, using the square of that and that. Oh, wait. I think I'm going to have to look this up. Anyway, so let's figure out what the what A and B actually represent. Uh, A is going to be my, uh, well, minus 37 and 60, so it's, well, it's going to be 37 plus 60. I just realised that x equals a squared plus b squared doesn't make sense. Well, it does make sense, but I should be using x squared plus z squared. So we're going to change the equation. Um, so d squared, we'll say d squared for distance equals x squared plus z squared. I'm pretty sure it's a plus because it's the long end. It's the, oh, what do you call this, the high posting user or something like that? I probably got that wrong. Probably looking like an absolute idiot. I mean, keep in mind I've not, <laughs> keep in mind I've not had to do maths for, you know, best part of 10 years, so I just, you know. Cut me some slack. Right, x is equal to uh, 37 plus 60. Oh, let's uh, get a space there, and that's equal to... Oh, we can only get one number in. Rubbish. Right, we'll just have to do that then. Um, 37 plus 60 is 97. Brilliant. There we go, right. And then this, this one's even harder. This one's got even more numbers. X is or not X. Z is equal to two zero six eight plus two one five two. Okay, we got there eventually. I had to take away the larger number from the smaller number. Okay, just keep faith with me. Okay. Um. So the answer to that is about. We should probably do it exact, but it's about ninety something, isn't it, or eighty something? Do not fear. I have a calculator here. 
2068. 84. I was close. I was close. Right, so that is equal to 84. So there we go. We've got our values for uh, x and z. So now what we want to do is we want to write out the equation. Oh my gosh. How am I going to write out the equation? So I'm pretty sure. So we want d squared. We've got the equation on the far left. d squared is equal to x squared plus z squared. I'm sure that's how it works. So what we want to do is we want to do x squared, which is uh, 97 squared plus... That, that doesn't make sense at all, does it? Neither does that. How do you write squared on a Minecraft sign? Squared. Right, we'll do... We'll, we'll do this, right? We'll do that, okay? Plus... What was the other figure? 84 squared. There we go, right? So 97 squared is 9,409. And 84 squared. There should be a squared... Oh, there is a squared button. I was doing like 84 times 84, but we've got a squared button. And it's 7,056. Brilliant. If you add those together, you get 16,400 at 65. So that is the answer. Not really. I'm just kidding. It's uh, that. That's what d squared equals. So d squared is equal to, uh, what was it? Uh, 164,000. No, 16,465. Pretty sure that's what it is. Yep. So that's d squared. To get d, we just need to find the square root. Again, I'm sure everyone knows this, but, you know, just so we do it camera. And the answer is 128. So, what are the conclusions we can draw from this? Basically, mob spawning obviously works based on where the player's standing. <laughs> Look, it took me a whole day to do the maths thing. Anyway, um, mob spawning works depending on where the player is standing. I'm not convinced anything can necessarily spawn. The fact it's 128 blocks probably suggests we should get rid of some of the grass there as well. And in fact, I do kind of want to check the grass over here. What was the what was the uh, the x coordinate? The x coordinate was minus 37. As you can see over here, minus 37 is well, that's 93. So this is still within the 144 range. Only just if we go over here. This is y104. So the cutoff point is about here, right? What what would that be? That'd be 137, 138, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Yeah, so this is the range here. We didn't even uh, cut the grass off far enough over there. So I think what we're going to have to do is get rid of a, a bit more in the way of grass over here. Just because... And I think the issue isn't so much animals will spawn, it's more animals won't despawn, if you know what I mean. So if I if I go over there, then there's a good chance there'll, be, there'll still be animals loaded. I'm not quite sure how it works. I'm fairly certain if you go out with 144 blocks, and all animals will despawn, or all mobs will despawn, passive or hostile. Uh, but in this case, it's probably better safe than sorry. So what does that tell you? Well tells you we've got to till some more of the soil. And I probably could have figured that out if I'd simply just measured the distance from there to there using the coordinates that are now in the game. Uh, but, you know, why not have a practical example or a practical example of Pythagoras theorem in, uh, in action? I wrote out my working as well. I mean, to be honest, I don't think I could answer questions back in the day without writing out my working, but there you go. Alright, sorry for that cringe. But... We're going to be working on something a bit different. Oh, hey, look. we got five feathers out of the mob system. Might have got some arrows, but I uh, I wasn't paying attention. So what I want to do is I want to create a bit of a viewing area for the mob system. And I came down here without logs. Darn it. All right, well, we'll, we'll go and get some later. But what that's going to mean is we're going to have to create a way of getting up. Probably a staircase or something. And then we're going to have to create a, a viewing area. Not quite sure where the mob system would be. It's probably up one, two, three, four, five blocks, maybe. One, two, three, four, uh, five. There we go. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be around about here. 
Let's dig this way, see if I was correct. Let's uh, swerve to this way. Oh, hello. That was a, a mistake. We need some... We need something to replace that with now. Alright, I've overshot it. It's either up here... Oh, it's up here. Okay, I, I got that badly wrong. I need to go up for materials now. <laughs> I can't avoid not having things like uh, stone and uh, logs on me. Ah, oh, flip. Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I completely forgot that you couldn't jump into one high water. And then I didn't like save myself, but whatever. No harm, no foul, we got our stuff back. Alright, yeah, we need to sort uh, this thing out. Oh yeah, we definitely need to sort that thing out. Alright. Uh, How are we going to do this then? We're going to place the water up here. That requires a sign here. It also requires a sign here. Then we can just put the water there. So that... That should work. And then we just need another sign for the water drop down here. Hey, look at that, look at that. Did you see that? I just MLG'd, MLG water drop from more than five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, they do work. Confirmed. I'm pretty sure I've done that before. Anyway, um, what I was hoping to do was to create a two-wide staircase. But unfortunately, it, it kind of intersects with the, uh, the water here. We might have to get rid of this. Not that it's a bad thing. It's just uh, a tad inconvenient. As you can see, I found out a very awkward way of keeping the uh, the water ladder intact. I can't stand having to go slowly for the first like three blocks before speeding up, so I had to have this here. <laughs> it doesn't look that good, let's be honest, uh, and I might get rid of it. It just depends on what I feel like at the end of the day. Anyway, let's get the stairs in. And we need to actually go up further than we did before. Yeah, well, this has turned into a right mess, as you can see. Um, <laughs> oh, it looks awful. I'll probably end up redoing that slightly. Uh, but, what I am going to do is... Oh yeah, I need to fill all this in as well. Alright, so there seems to be a spider stuck in the system. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. We might need to get some cactus down here, to be honest. Because as you can see, they're not swimming up. If they swam up, that would be the outcome. I mean, we didn't get any string. How would we implement cactus, though? Could we implement cactus? There, maybe? Oh, dear. Yeah, so this is part of the problem. Right, there we go. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to try try our best to add a cactus. And I don't have it on the bar. Fantastic. Don't hit me. Okay. Then all we need to do is that and that. Doesn't seem to be working. We'll try the other side then. If this doesn't work we could have a spider separator. Does that count as working? The problem was, originally the spider was dead centre. So... It might be... A oh no. Oh, there we go, right. Um, yeah, so originally the spider was dead centre, which meant that it wasn't good to hit any or either of the cacti. I mean, what we could do is maybe have multiple cacti. Yeah, so that's the best I could come up with. Uh, there's no baby zombies in this version, obviously, so they won't get, like, trapped in there. Uh, regular mobs, they'll probably die to it. See, the thing is, it might destroy some of the items. I, I don't really have any alternatives for spiders other than... The only thing I can think of is moving the lava further this way. Like, maybe up to here. But I'm not I'm not convinced that would necessarily do much. I mean we could load it. We could also load it. Um well actually no we could. No, we could. 
It would just be a bit more awkward. Seems like these creepers had no trouble in the... Well, the killing area. Despite the fact there was cacti surrounding them. As I said, we'll just have to monitor it. I think we're going to have to move this back one, honestly. It's uh, it's getting quite annoying. And I came here for... S oh yeah, I came to make a new spade. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to yeah, move the ladder back one in order to incorporate the staircase. Because currently it's yeah, a wee bit frustrating having that staircase not be, you know, too wide or whatever. And there we have it. The viewing area is now completed. As with most things in this area, it is off-centre, but that's because of the, uh, the, well, I changed the place the ladder was, the, the water ladder. But yeah, it's, it's one of these ones that is not, like, immediately necessary, but it's useful to have, if you know what I mean. Um, I was wondering, could we make a viewing system of these guys here? That's going to be a wee bit more challenging. As you can see, creating a bit of a viewing area here, right next to the killing area, uh, just in case any issues occur with regards to spiders not dying or whatever. I do have a vague idea of what I would do if things went poorly, but again, it's one of these ones that it, it would require more work. Uh, I need a couple of doors, unfortunately. And I also need uh, I need a sign, which I don't have. I'm going to go back up and get it real quick. Uh, but yeah, it's coming together nicely. The only downside is you take damage if you go up here. I think it's possibly from the lava. Uh, but, I mean, whatever, it's not a big deal. It's only uh, half a heart. Sometimes it doesn't even take damage off you. So, legitimately, I went into the nether. There was loads and loads of ghasts. And I was like, oh dear. And then, yeah, sure enough, I crashed a few seconds later. I, I didn't press peace. I didn't do peaceful. I was, uh, I was auto-walking, basically. And uh, when I came back, I'd, I'd crashed. So, yeah, that's still a pretty big issue. Um, I had to move the ladder over again. I'll show you why. If we hop down here. This is actually working pretty well. I mean, it's not super duper efficient, but it's not bad. Uh, obviously, if we get more caves lit up, it'll be even better. Uh, but, well, as you can see, this is what we've accomplished. Um, so, we've got the water drop here. Uh, we've got the viewing area up here. You probably won't be able to see too much. Uh, but there you go. You can just vaguely see the uh, spawning pads and everything like that. And, of course, yeah, it's off-center. But, I mean, there you go. Such is life. Uh, you can go over here as well. That's pretty good. I'm wondering if you can actually cross. I wonder if we could bridge the gap. Hang on a minute. Let's work this out. So the lantern stuff will be there. So the... I think the earliest point we could bridge the gap would actually be here, maybe? Oh wait, no, there's water though. I think there's there's water. There's water in the water ladder, obviously, that's going to add a few blocks on. But it seems like, yeah, it seems like we can bridge the gap here. Uh, but yeah, this took a lot longer than I anticipated. Uh, I, I, I kind of want to do a bit of soil tilling before I finish the episode. It's one of these ones that Episodes always end up being a lot longer than I uh, anticipate. I'm not. I'm never good at judging. Well, I can usually judge when it's becoming too long, but you know, I did say this would be more chill, although it has taken a lot longer than usual. Uh, but we've got a viewing area now. Uh, not just a viewing area of the mob system, but a viewing area of the killing chamber. Uh, I do have one or two ideas of how to possibly solve the spider issue if that continues to persist but yeah apart from that i should be done here anyway i'm going to end the episode there thank you all so much for checking out this episode it's been a lot of fun next episode we should be back with part two of the pause pause diamond distribution experiment until then see you later